You have a superpower? You're both fucking with me, right? Do Ryan and I look like the fucking with you type? It's all true. Fine. Then tell me what I'm feeling right now. You're feeling disbelief. <sighs> You're actually a little annoyed. You feel hurt that we didn't tell you until now. Whether it's true or not, you don't like being left out. Well, okay. Oh shit, the foosball game. You knew exactly what to do. You needed to focus on the positive memories, not get lost in the sadness. I thought it would help. It did, just Warn me next time, okay? Deal. Never thought I'd have a freaky empath friend. Pretty wild. So, any sign of Diane today? No, but she was in yesterday working on her laptop. You said she was afraid of something around Gabe's death. If she's covering up what Typhon did, I bet there's proof. I hope so. If she comes in today, let's be ready with a plan. In the meantime, I've got to finish my shift. We're on it. Time to earn a paycheck. I should clean the dirty dishes around the bar. Respect to anyone that chooses to locomote for sport. Definitely the best boss I've ever had. Which, to be fair, isn't that high a bar. Did you trade out the quarters in the register yet? All you, kid. that song. They used to play it in here all the time. Weird. I've never heard it. Maybe now Steph and Ryan know the big secret. It is such a relief having them in my corner. How's it going? We have some ideas that are gonna blow your mind. <laughs> well, let's not get ahead of it. Blow your mind. <laughs> Can't wait. Hey, do you guys know a song that goes, Where are you, girl from Rome? Holy shit. Blast from the past. Alabaster Daydreams. My dad used to love that song. Gabe would put it on repeat just to mess with him. Got to the point where he couldn't stand to even hear it anymore. So... What happened to it? Oh, eventually Jed pulled it out of the jukebox and stashed it somewhere. You could ask him. Sweet, thanks. Hey boss, do the words alabaster daydreams mean anything to you? Oh hell, like brother, like sister, huh? Fine, guess it's been long enough. It's back behind the bar someplace. Thanks. All right, let's hear this infamous song.
washing contests even work? Who's checking the sightings? Hey, Eleanor. How are you? People here I'm respect okay. the birders Thank code you. of honor as much as anyone. I really I just appreciate lost. your help from a couple weeks ago. It means a lot to me. We'll catch up later. Love you, Gabe. Rad jacket. I'm guessing boss man must be Jed. Not to be a single issue voter or anything, but fuck Typhon. So, I started Dust in Daylight while you were at work. You're kidding. I already got to Verdant Cliffs. Wait. Holy shit. Seriously? Yeah, I'm kind of addicted. It's a good game. I'm... so glad you like it. I really do. Hey. Getting ready for the big LARP? Oh, hey. Yeah. Trying. I hope we can get Ethan into it. Sorry. Let's talk later. Your tab is in the six figures, Ducky. Chump change. Let's make it twelve. Jed acts like he's in charge, but we all know who really calls the shots in here. I'm not convinced this is totally sanitary, but what do I know? Better check in with Steph and Ryan. Okay, she's here. What's the plan? Well, we have two plans actually. But we're still workshopping them. What does workshopping mean exactly? It means Ryan won't admit that my plan is perfect. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking I asked Diane out on a date. Wait, what? And she's so into it. She doesn't notice one Ryan Lucan swiping her laptop. Ryan carries said laptop upstairs, acquiring damning evidence. Maybe Diane and I still hook up? Not important. <laughs> That's your plan? Oh my god, please tell me you have something better. I do. Now to be clear, it's the same plan. Except... I'm the distraction. Look, Steph, I don't even think she's gay, all right? She's probably into the rugged mountain man type. All the transplants are. (laughs) 
Okay, maybe these plans do need some more time. What? It's a simple plan, literally two steps. You just need to choose the hotter distraction. <laughs> okay, I'm not doing that. You're the only tiebreaker we have. <sighs> Let's go with Brian. Of course, you're a total smoke show, Steph, but for Diane, I think Brian is a good choice. This, Ryan? This is like a bad dream. Look, I appreciate the... the effort, but we don't even know if she has anything worth stealing yet. I'm just gonna try talking to her. Maybe I can get her worked up and read her emotions. I'll let you know if I need that distraction. Good luck. Your usual. Thanks, Alex. What's the best way to rile her up? You know all I want is justice for my brother. Please. Help me. I can assure you that Typhon is committed to a full and open investigation. We want to find those responsible and hold them accountable just as much as you do. That's the truth. She's got a great poker face, unlike Mac, but let's see what she's really feeling. Let me try and read her first. I should try reading Diane's emotions before we go any further. Poor Gabe. No one deserves to die like that. She's sad. If I keep her thinking about Gabe's death, maybe I can find out more. deserves to die like that. That's a nice cross. Oh, thanks. Oh, such a cute photo. My niece and nephew. They're adorable. Do you have um, enough napkins for the table? Uh, yeah. I'm fine, thanks. I bet you and Gabe threw back a lot of these together. He was a great bartender. Made the long work days more bearable. William Bloom. Gabe loved him. I think he spent a whole year just listening to him. <laughs> really? He had good taste. Surprised we never talked about it. Typhon does a lot of local hiring, huh? We're always growing. Are you joining in the LARP later? It's been so hard for Ethan. We're all hoping it will cheer him up. I can't. Good luck, though. I'm sure he'll appreciate it. Okay, now I need to pick something that will push Diane's emotions over the edge. I need to rile Diana. Maybe asking about the- He was practically a father to Ethan. And now he's gone. It's just so fucked up. He was practically a father to Ethan. And now he's gone. 
It's just so fucked up. Look, I know you're not a bad person. But my brother is dead because of the choices you and Typhon made. How does that make you feel? I actually want to know. Alex, I... We... Typhon is doing everything we can to address the situation. That's the truth. Okay? All right, that's the emotion I was looking for. Time to explore Diane's guilt about Gabe. Time to find out what Diane is really hiding. He came here looking for a better life, just like me. He's gone. I'm still here. Hello? Miss Jacobs? It's Deputy Pike. Pike, I'm sorry, but we're very busy at the moment. There's been an accident. What kind of accident? Wait, there's something else. I can't undo what Typhon did, or the role I played, but at least I have everything I need to protect myself from them. Holy shit. She must have evidence on the USB stick. Oh, looks like I'll need a distraction after all. Hey, Ryan, what's up? Well, if you're free later, I was thinking we could go on a hike together. There's some beautiful trails up in the mountains. Oh, that sounds like a nice idea. in the mountains with this handsome fella? Sounds like a date. How long have you been planning this, you devil? Oh, uh, well, to be honest, I've been wanting to ask you ever since you showed up in Haven. Truth be told. So, what do you say? Hey, no rush. He's not going anywhere. Mull it over. Get back to him. Anyway, gotta go. <laughs> See ya. Ryan, real talk. 
I think Diane actually wants you. I know, I can't believe it. <laughs> hey. Oh, man. You guys, oh, that was hilarious. Oh my God. I hope this was worth it. Password protected. Guess I'm not surprised. I'll bring this to Riley. See if she's willing to help. She's a whiz at computer stuff. In the meantime, we have a LARP to do. Grab your hat and meet me at the park. And don't forget your guitar, okay? Is the guitar really necessary? What? H how can you be a bard without a guitar? The bard's whole job is to musically regale people. Well then, prepare to be regaled. So, did you finish the thing? Yeah, barely. It took me all night. I haven't carved like that in ages. All right, I need to grab my guitar and the hat that Steph got me. Ducky's gift to me for finding his booze. It's, um, it's a unique expression of gratitude. I know this is Ethan's copy, but I'm level 73 and I'm not stopping. I found some really cute photos of Gabe and Ethan on this thing. I haven't beat Steph a single time. That I don't even know if I'm doing this right, but it felt like I had to do something. Life in Haven would be a lot worse without these two weirdos. A housewarming gift from Eleanor. She said Gabe loved these little dudes. No, we're one step closer now. Steph, I will murder you. Wish I'd taken Steph's advice. Ugh. Wow. Steph is a rock star for putting this together. Ethan is gonna flip. A dire rat joined your party.
I'm really glad my advice helped. One day, I'll stop being a freeloader. For now, I'm just grateful. Sometimes it's hard to say where Gabe ends and I begin. His job, his apartment, his life here. But if there is a seam somewhere, I see it most in Steph and Ryan. In my mind, when we're all together, I can imagine him in my place. And I can watch the scene unfold like a spectator for a life I barely knew. Or if I choose instead, I can forget about Gabe and just accept, however improbably, that Steph and Ryan care about me for my own sake, for no other reason. I think I know which one Gabe would prefer. Yikes. This garden is looking gnarly. I haven't played for anyone else in years. That was a good night. So far, Ryan is the only one that uses this. Maybe I should just gift it to him. Look, man, if you want to live here, you need to do your own dishes. I wonder how many times Gabe got stoned up here and sticked.
Okay, let me grab my hat. There it is. Oh shit. The feather on the hat must have fallen off. Maybe I can find it. Gabe's last effects from the coroner. Pike dropped it off a few days ago. Guess I've been avoiding looking through it. Okay. You can take the kid out of juvie. Oh. One match left. I don't know why, but this must have been really special to Gabe. Never know when you'll need a light. I'm not giving up yet, Gabe. I better find that feather. Steph is a stickler for details. Okay. I better find Ethan right away. Wow. Typhon officially clears Typhon of any wrongdoing in death of local man at the hands of Typhon explosions. Best job I've ever had. Not that the competition is super fierce. So many memories of Gabe I didn't get to make. Alex the Bard, ready to serve. Time to head out. <laughs> I still haven't gotten you open yet. Must be a key around here somewhere. This must have been Gabe's. That's a long list. And I bet he would have gotten through it. Wow, Gabe. Still finding ways to break my heart, huh?
Hey. I don't need, like, cheering up or whatever. Okay, so maybe this wasn't the most subtle idea, but... Gabe was so excited to LARP with you. I bet he'd really want you to do it. I do want to do this. It's just... <sighs> Everyone's been working so hard. And if I'm not happy, they'll all be disappointed. Must be weird having a bunch of adults pressuring you to dress up in a costume and act like you're having fun. Yeah, especially my mom. She always looks so <sighs> sad. Cause I'm like bummed out. But I can't just pretend. So, don't pretend. Just be yourself. Or yourself with a foam sword and a funny hat. But what if I'm still, you know, not having fun? Then don't. That's fine too. No one will be disappointed in you for being you. All right. But I don't want to do it alone. You have to help me. Of course. Thanor, the monster slayer. Thanks to the gods and all the heavens you've come. I am in desperate need of a great hero. Could you be the one? Please, tell me of your exploits. Uh, there's a bunch of stuff. Maybe my bard can sing something about me. Oh, sure. A kraken ate a city every year until it died on Thanor's spear. My goodness. So, you must be Thanor's bard, Alwyn, whose songs have magical powers. It sounds like you are exactly the heroes I need. My name is King Tabor. The age of monsters has come upon my kingdom. Horrible creatures stalk the streets. My people live in constant fear. But this hope, an ancient prophecy, describes three mysterious gems known as soul jewels that can save us all. I need you to go search the kingdom, survive whatever's out there, and bring me back those jewels. Do you understand? Yeah. Yes. Good. Then you must go, now. My people are counting on you. Should we start with the main road? Okay. Time to find some jewels. So you're seriously Alwyn? Don't you recognize me? Oh, yeah, of course. Um. It's been a long time since Carneris. Exactly. Those were good times, huh? Except for the spiders. Yeah. 
How do we know where to look? I think we don't know. It's a true adventure. Oh. Okay. It's a wolf. A dire wolf. Shit, what do we do? I think we have to fight it. One damage, <clears throat> and you're on fire for the next two turns. <laughs> Distortion field. One sound damage for the next two turns. Ah! Two damage. Ah! I'm still on fire. Ah! My ears are ringing. Huh. <clears throat> two damage. <clears throat> Loot! Oh, cool! I learned a magic attack! <laughs> One damage to allies? Better be nice to Thanor. Let's keep going. What do you think this key is for? Maybe it unlocks something in one of these stores. How do we know for sure it's dead? Should we tickle it? Stop it. Be serious. Huh. Did Ethan drop this? Shouldn't go back until we found all three jewels. Shouldn't go back until we found all three jewels. What is that? It's a magic scroll we can use in fights. Oh, awesome. We should find as many as we can.
Let's go to the peach. Found a scroll? Yeah. Well, now, who do we have here? Thanor the Monster Slayer. And my bard. And what you up to, Thanor? Saving your lives. There's monsters out there. Orcs and minotaurs and such. Be careful. Sounds dangerous. Aren't I supposed to be the one? Sorry, did you say that? Looks like the Black Lantern is part of the LARP. Hey, kid, you responsible for that massacre in the Black Lantern? Got another scroll. Cool. Could there be something down the alley? Master scroll I bet there's something fun in the record store. I wonder how Riley's doing with the USB. Mind if I duck in here a second? I have to talk to Riley about a real life thing. I promise I'll be quick. Sure. Take your time. Hey there. <laughs> I could ask Riley how progress is going with the USB. So Eleanor's donating all those decorations? Any luck with the USB? No, not yet. It's gonna take hours, if we're lucky. Oh. If you want to check it out, it's running on the office computer. But don't touch anything. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much for doing this. You don't have to thank me. It's the least I could do for Gabe. And actually, it's kind of fun. I didn't realize you were so good with computers. Is that what you're going to school for? Civil engineering. Or maybe robotics? It's a lot to figure out. Kind of crazy. <laughs> anyway, let's talk about something else. How's Mac doing? I haven't seen him in a while. Oh, he's around. Probably too embarrassed to show his face. <laughs> he gives me shit every time I see him. I can't get out of this town fast enough. Stay strong. Let's talk later. I'll let you know if I make any progress. Thanks again.
Hey, again. Let's talk later. I'll let you know if I make any progress. Thanks again. Man, small towns. Everyone's been going out of their way to congratulate Riley these past couple of weeks. I wonder what we'll find at the Bridge of Flowers. I bet there's something fun in the record store. Could there be something down the alley? There's something fun in the record store. Don't think the LARP goes that far. I wonder what we'll find at the Bridge of Flowers. Got a soul jewel right there. Oh, 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 you like my belt? <laughs> it's made of human skin. <laughs> what do you think we should do?
Let's take him. I'll smash you to bits. Burning blade! One damage, <clears throat> and you're on fire for the next two turns. Stirring him, double Thanor's next attack. Throwing rock. Oh. Two damage. Ah, I'm still on fire. <clears throat> Four damage. <sighs> Distortion field. One sound damage for the next two turns. Throwing rock. Ah! Two damage. Ah, I'm still on fire. Ah, my ears are ringing. Blade. One damage, <clears throat> and you're on fire for the next two turns. Untuned cord. <clears throat> One damage. <clears throat> 